But but again, why now? Because yeah. the, the Trump defense team is saying it's 30 four days before an election, there are guidance, there's guidelines from the Department of Justice saying you shouldn't do this kind of thing right before the election. There's case after case, case after case, case after case, case after case, tried to blow his head off, tried to kill him again. That didn't work. So now we're back to another case. What is going on, everybody? Hope you guys are all doing well. Yes, I'm shooting this out. It's probably midnight while I'm doing this. And um, I'm doing it, folks. I am Ty Smith. You're watching my channel, Modern Renaissance Man. Uh, hope you guys are all doing well. I appreciate you taking time out of your day or your evening to watch my content. Make sure that if you want to see more of my content, it can consistently be recommended to you that you hit this like button right here. Be sure to follow me on all platforms above and below, ladies and gentlemen. If you want me to look at a clip react to a music video, things like that of sort, to find out how you can get me to actually look at a video clip or something that you want me to see as a guarantee, go to patreon.com forward slash modern renaissance man, and that's how you can find out how you can do it there, all right? Appreciate you folks. Last but not least, double check to make sure that you still are subscribed to the channel. So ladies and gentlemen, they are coming out again, trying to come at Trump, and it's absolutely amazing. I'm surprised that these folks aren't exhausted. Now look, I don't want to jump ahead of things or anything like that, but you would swear based off of how they are reacting. It's like, like it's, it just reminds me of like Pharaoh not wanting to let the people go, but the more you can't fight against God. So you're saying that this is God on Trump's side? I'm just saying, y'all keep coming at him with this nonsense and it keeps on getting thrown out. And now they got a new angle they want to try to hit Trump because now it's like, oh, these documents are unsealed. They're unsealed. We got some damning evidence now. Damning evidence. Y'all want to know what I'm talking about? Check this out. In a sweeping new court filing, the special counsel is shedding new light on his 2020 election interference case against Donald Trump, arguing the former president is not immune from prosecution because when he sought to overturn his 2020 loss, he was fundamentally acting as a private candidate and resorted to crimes to try to stay in office. The filing, including Trump's conversations with his former vice president, Mike Pence, including one where Pence tried to convince Trump to accept defeat and run in the next election. Smith arguing they were acting in a private capacity as running mates. On January 6th, as rioters stormed the Capitol after Trump's tweet saying Pence, quote, didn't have the courage to overturn the election results, prosecutors say an unidentified aide rushed to the state dining room to inform Trump that Pence had been evacuated in hopes he would take action, quote, to ensure Pence's safety. Trump's response, according to the filing, so what? Prosecutors also point to the former president's repeated praise for January 6th defendants. Those J6 warriors, they were warriors. And outline new alleged private conversations, including aboard Marine One, when Smith says a witness overheard Trump tell family members that it doesn't matter if you won or lost the election, you still have to fight like hell. Prosecutors also saying Trump operatives, quote, sought to cause chaos after the election and detail one example when an unidentified aide present at a Michigan vote count was told there may be unrest, allegedly responded, quote, make them riot. The former president pleaded not guilty to the charges filed last year and denies any wrongdoing. Trump attacking the new filing as political. This was a weaponization of government, and that's why it was released 30 days before the election. It all comes as Trump's running mate, J.D. Vance, is facing new scrutiny after his debate with Tim Walls asked whether Trump lost in 2020. Did he lose the 2020 election? Tim, I'm focused on the future. Now, the Department of Justice has long maintained its independence from political interference in criminal cases. And I think it's fair to note one major reason all this is coming to a head so close to the election is Mr. Trump's own strategy of seeking delay at every step in this legal process. Savannah. Garrett, thank you. I want to turn to NBC senior legal correspondent Laura Jarrett. Let's start with that issue of timing. Yeah. Why did the special counsel file this now? So at first glance, they had to do this because the Supreme Court said you got to figure out what's immune, what's not immune. And the basic distinction that they've defined here is what were things that Trump was doing as an office holder while president and what was he doing really in his private capacity as an office seeker on the campaign none of that should be immune and so the special counsel's office is saying 
all of the things that he's been charged with now, because there's a superseding indictment, a new indictment, anything that he's been charged with now is completely game on. It's not immune. It shouldn't be shielded. And so we're seeing some new details we hadn't seen in the Jan 6 investigation, we hadn't seen before. Many of the same circumstances, but just like a little bit more fleshing out here. So this is basically the special counsel trying to salvage its case after this Supreme Court decision, which set off limits a lot of evidence in the case. Yes. But, but... Again, why now? Because yeah. the, the Trump defense team is saying it's 34 days before an election. There are guidance, there's guidelines from the Department of Justice saying you shouldn't do this kind of thing right before the election. There's no question this was a choice. Prosecutors know how to move fast when they want to move fast. And they had wanted this to go to trial. But it has no hope of going to trial. And so once you get to the point where you're now in front of before the judge, the election. Before the election. And if you get to the point where you're, it's now 34 days, you have a choice to make. And you can say, Judge, we want a little bit more time. We want to ask for a scheduling order that would push this out a little bit. But they didn't. And they're saying, well, the judge unsealed it. But they wanted it out there right now. And I think that that's why this team is saying, wait a minute, but well, there's a 60-day rule. Now, they could say, arguably, it doesn't fall under the rule that says you don't take any major investigative step because he's already been indicted, right? But again, this is 160 think, pages of a narrative of the case against Donald Trump. While he's running for re 34 days before election. Yes. By the way, reminiscent of James Comey reopening his investigation into Hillary Clinton in 2016, a couple weeks before the election. Also, you know, the, specter of that, by the, defense the specter of that ghost, I think, certainly looms over this. And I think that's why they were leaning on the court unsealing it. But no question, this is going to have continued fallout. Laura, thank you very much. Yep. Yeah. So what's going to be new? Come on now. And now, now it's like, well, wait a minute. He wasn't he wasn't an acting president. He actually said that as a private president. And then listen to the stuff that they were saying. We his his aide heard him say that he says, so what? His aide, they actually heard him say, like, I don't care about eating rotisserie chicken. I like to eat this type of chicken cooked by black people. He, I heard him once say, grab them by the pee. I, here we go again. What I heard him say, I heard him say, what about the stuff that y'all heard? You know what? I ain't even going to do that. It's just, it's, 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 it seems very desperate and which they are very desperate. And again, why 30 days before the election? Do you, y'all are trying to scramble up anything y'all possibly can. God, I hope Trump, Never like, you know, <laughs> it's just, I hope he, he's like, he can't do nothing. Oh man, Trump spit some bubble gum out and he missed a trash can. I heard him say, oh, well, somebody will pick it up. Otherwise they wouldn't have a, they, that, I mean, that's what they do. What is this? It seems real desperate. It seems really sad. And I don't know it's because y'all, I mean, if you really think that Kamala Harris is going to win this thing. Why are you still coming off as being desperate like you're trying to find any and everything to get on Trump? Now, what I find interesting, guys, is that, you know, your boy don't miss too much whenever things are being said. Notice in here how they said Trump had like these operatives on January the 6th. Oh, were these operatives the FBI too? Because it seemed like the FBI also apparently Based off what Trump said, when he said, peacefully go and protest, let your voice be heard, back the boys in blue, which we all know that Trump had the receipts. You can go on his Twitter X account right now and look it up. It still should be up there where you can see where Trump said on that day. So if that was code for these people on January 6th to storm the Capitol, did that include the FBI too? Was the FBI one of Trump's operatives too and they stormed the Capitol? Huh? Oh, y'all didn't think the FBI was involved in that? Is that just a conspiracy too? Okay, what is this then? Director Ray, does it does the FBI have confidential human sources? Uh, did the FBI have confidential human sources embedded within the January 6th protesters on January 6th of 2021? Well, Congressman, as I'm sure you can appreciate, I have to be very careful about what I can say about when Even we are, now, because that's what you I, told us two years finish? ago. May I finish? Uh, about when we do and do not, and where we have and have not used confidential human sources. Uh, but to the extent that there's a suggestion, for example, that the FBI's confidential human sources or FBI employees in some way instigated or orchestrated January 6th, that's categorically false. Did you have confidential human sources dressed as Trump supporters inside the Capitol on January the 6th prior to the doors being opened? Again, I had to be very careful. It should be a no. Say. Can you not tell the American people no? 
We did not have confidential human sources dressed as Trump supporters positioned inside the Capitol. Gentlemen's time has expired. You should not read anything into my decision uh, not to share information. Director Ray, confidential human gentlemen's sources. time has expired. Well, he never answered the question, Ty. He never, he did answer the question. They don't have that information that we are like three, almost four years after January the 6th and they still don't have this information. That's why they do not want Trump to be president because Trump is probably going to bust that stuff wide open. We know that there were FBI field agents there. This is why this guy did not answer the question because they were there. And even when he said how many, y'all, later on in this clip that I just showed y'all, they even go on to ask him, like, how many do you would you say was there? Well, I can't answer that because we don't know. And, well, whoa, what do you mean we don't know? It should be like none were there. And like the guy in here said, you could have just simply said no. Were there any FBI operatives that stormed the Capitol? No, he didn't say no. Well, you know, there's some things that I, yeah, that's very damning since they like to use that word right there, huh, right? Yeah. Anyway, folks, let me know what y'all think of this nonsense right here. Do you think this is just another way of them just trying to get Trump? They still trying to pull out everything? I mean, what's worse than trying to kill the man? Huh? Couldn't kill him. So what, you just go out to square one and trying to find something else on him? This right here is going to prove he's not a, he's not a privacy. We still, we got more evidence. He said that he, they, they said while he was talking and they were trying to tell him what was going on with Mike Pence, he was eating a cheeseburger and said, so what? See, this is just, I, I don't get it, y'all. It, it, it just be so many different ways, so many different variables and complexities to this because if they go and say, hey, Trump, um, this is happening and they're, they're taking Mike Pence for his safety. If Trump was like, wait, so what? Like, see, they don't, they don't throw that in there. All they do is make it sound like he went, so what? Y'all get it? There's a difference between so what and wait, so what? See, he could have said, wait, so what's happening? But they leave that out. They just keep in the so what. They make it sound like he was like, eh, whatever. They want you to believe that. That's what I'm saying. You need to have a before and after. It's like taking a scripture out of the Bible and just using that one scripture without reading the stuff before or after. It's always details and always context to it. So don't fall for this nonsense. Boy, this left-wing media is crazy. Again, let me know what y'all think by putting the comments below after this video. If you want to see the next video I'm going to be doing in chronological order, it's most likely going to be the video up here. If you want to see the variety of things that I do on this channel, it will be down here. I am Ty Smith, Modern Renaissance Man, hoping and praying that every last one of you have food, shelter, and clothing. And most of all, I pray every last one of you guys are in great health, mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. God bless you all through Jesus.